Welcome to a brand new episode of Watch Us Play. I'm one of your hosts, Joey Davidson, next to... Michael White. And as you saw by the really crazy looking title screen, this is Killer is Dead. <laughs> I'm actually picking up uh, near the end of the game, but we're not going to play any actual story missions. I don't want to spoil things for people, so... Uh, Killer is Dead is a wild freaking game. It's absolutely nuts. It's do... uh, set on Mars. <laughs> No, it isn't. It's okay. not bad. It's on You've Earth. You've just killed so many people that the whole world is it's on covered Earth. in blood. All right, I don't know what this is one of the side missions I haven't done. My animals are battling in the background. Uh, you are an... Ass Stop it, guys. God! <laughs> they ruin everything. You are an assassin executioner by day and a gigolo by night. <laughs> so we're going to do one of the assassin missions. I actually haven't played this one yet, but... Um, it involves a bonsai tree. And I just kind of wanted to give you a slice of, this is like a Suda51 hack and slash action game that's highly stylized. Um, and there's also some sex stuff that we're not actually going to touch on. Um, which kind of makes, <laughs> oh. oh, which kind of makes people upset or frustrated or whatever, which I don't really get. But, oh man, secure the moon bonsai the moon that bonsai. Sean's one <laughs> before yes. it reaches. All right. Oh, this is going to be awesome. I don't even know what's happening. I probably should have played this mission before we started. So this is a set piece from Kill Bill? Like, what is... All, I will say this, highly stylized, kind of like that Kill Bill feel. Mm -hmm. And every single level is varied. You, I mean, you fight in, like, a recording studio. You fight on the moon. You fight in a <laughs> mansion on the moon. In this... Do I have to beat those guys? I think they already did, bud. Okay, so Cyber Arm Samurai Gigolo. Yes. All with, right. With a sword and with... I mean, it's, this, this game is just, like, the silliest shit. Right, let's see. If, I don't know if I'm going to get it because I didn't... Okay, here we go. So it's, it's kind of like a hack and slash combat thing with, like, a really cool and interesting fight timer. Mm-hmm. Um, let me kill this dude up here. Good yeah. Shot. So, combat, like a combo system, what do you got going it's, on here? It's really button mashy, super yeah. accessible because of that fact. Like, it's not, you're not going to sit here and, and devil may cry this shit. Like, it's not right. that hard. Um, it's just basically dodge, parry, and if I can time it right. So more, uh, was it Dynasty Warriors? Kind of just like... Dynasty Warriors, so, man. man. I would say... Am I thinking it, of the right thing? I would say <laughs> it's more God of War than anything else. Okay. Um... I mean, it's it's even a little bit simpler than God of War. There, I wish I could time this right. Come on, come on. <laughs> There's a way to. Um, let me just grab right from See, it's just literally it's just like square, 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 square. You're like a like a little kid coming into a fighting game for the first time. <laughs> Sweep, 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 sweep. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you've been playing this game for years? Sweep, sweep, sweep. <laughs> Fuck everything you know. <laughs> but I will say, it is, I mean, it is gorgeous, though. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, it's just a real dumbed-down hack and slash, which is fine. Where, what, what? Woha. What? Jackie Chan could get through there. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes. Here we go. Man, these dudes are gonna be for serious. I hate the shield guys. I mean, this is cool. It's got a little bit of you know. Well, not a little bit. A lot of it. It's like sci-fi fantasy. Yeah, man. It's. I mean, these are monsters from the moon that I'm fighting yeah. right now. So right. it's just like a really. One of the reasons why I like Suda Fifty One games so much is that they are so distinct. Yeah. And so stylized. It's just very much a. Sure, a lot of the people who are kind of anti Suda tend to think that this game's lack substance, excuse me, and I'm not going to argue with that because it, it is definitely um, a little bit of a 
thinner gaming experience than you might find from other more hardcore titles like this. Right. Um, but at the same rate, like you're getting a very, very accessible hack and slash title with like a really gorgeous art style. The story is a fucking shit show. I don't even know what to say <laughs> about it. But um, okay, let's see if we learn more. Let's see. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Screw it. All right, here we go. Oh. It's starting to get more intense looking dudes. Yeah, seriously. I can, I can time some, one of my attacks right. One of my parries like unlocks this like slow down time thing. But for some reason, it's something that you do so often in the game, and for some reason, right now, I can't do it. <laughs> It only happens when you're really not trying. There it is. Whoa. So it's just like, oh, everything's <laughs> red! <laughs> there we go. Fruit Ninja! And then you do like these execution style kills, Jeez. decapitation. Shit's just flying everywhere. <laughs> I love it. See, where some people might say that it's a little shallow, I look at this like, this is a video game. This is like tried and true. It's it's a game. It's supposed to be like fun. It's purely nothing but just like straightforward, straightforward action. Like there's nothing there's nothing really overly complicated about this game, which is fine by me. Like I understand that people you know want more from their titles. Um, if you're like a diehard action fan, I will say this: if you are someone who just loves the shit out of titles like Metal Art. <laughs> um, Devil May Cry, or even like the later Ninja Gaidens that are like really, really heavy on difficulty. You are gonna want to put this thing on hard straight away, and even then, it's not even gonna be. Oh, and I have different guns, by the way. All right. But you does it see get that? <laughs> <laughs> down? Anyway. Do you get bored with the combat? Though? No. See, that's the thing. Like you, the. Scenery changes so much that you're never really like right now. I'm trying to rescue a bonsai tree, um, and this, this is probably one of the most straightforward missions I've played. And the scenery changes so goddamn much. It's like, oh, I'm in Kyoto. Oh, I'm on the moon. Oh, I'm in a shopping mall. Oh, <laughs> I'm fighting a giant on a, a secret military base. Like that happens in this game. <laughs> so you know, yes, I could see that. <laughs> <laughs> I could see that, like, if, you know, if, if this was just such a straightforward title that... What's going to happen here? Oh, it's it! We all did right. it! Woo! So we have time. I'm going to show you what all the what all the fuss is about with the sex missions. All right. Okay, so his name is Mondo Zappa, right? Mondo is a play on Bond, as you would pronounce it in Japanese. Mm -hmm. It would be Bondo. So Mondo Bondo. You know Bond Girls? Yes. They wanted to pun on that and make Mondo Girls. So in <laughs> J Japanese it would be Bondo Girls. So this is Mondo Girls. Got it? Right. So when you're watching this, think of the sleaziest shit that James Bond does. First I need to stock up on gifts at the gift shop. Mm -hmm. um, let me see here. Do they like Futurama heads floating in water? Oh, I don't know why those were there, actually. <laughs> All right, we'll just find some shit here. Okay, that's probably good. Basically, in order to unlock guns and different upgrades outside of the missions themselves, mm -hmm. you visit these Mondo girls and win them over. And this is this is the thing that like everyone's like, oh, this is this is fucking sexist and whatever else. I will grant you this. It is not really <laughs> Okay, you know what? Before we get there, let's just let's just I'll show you how it works. Okay. Okay, so basically I'm trying to to win this geisha's heart. She's one of the several girls. When she looks at me, I need to look her in the eye. Or I need to look away. When she's not looking at me, I need to look at her erogenous zones. <laughs> if she catches me, you see that meter on the left? Yeah. Or on the right, I'm sorry. That's like her... I'll, watch, I'll let it go down a little bit. If she catches me... Stay, see, it drops. So then I need to look at her... Maintain eye contact. That meter <laughs> rises back up. So when you get up enough guts, and the guts are the things building on the left-hand side, you're able to give a present. 
What would this ge geisha like? Do you think she would like a mixtape? <laughs> yup. Yup. <Yeah. laughs> okay. <laughs> Does she like it? I don't know. Uh, kinda. All right. All right. Oh, she did like it though. All right. Oh, and that's that's someone else. So this no, is just no. really teaching you how to act in public. Sort of maintain eye contact, men. stare at their privates when they're not looking. You know. Wow. <laughs> so later on in the game, you have the opportunity to unlock the gigolo glasses. Yeah. Uh, if we were to have those on right now, we would be seeing through her stuff. They're like x-ray glasses. X-ray glasses. <laughs> so you can just see Perfect. Her, in her underwear. <laughs> Clearly. But you know, come on. All right, so when you look away, does that kind of like make her look away? I think it I think it helps build the mood. Okay. So to speak. <laughs> All right. What else you How about this bouquet? Oh, it's probably she's probably not going to like it. Oh. Oh. She loved oh. it. Oh, we're so close. <laughs> I'm just going to give her You know what's going to seal the deal? A stick of gum. <laughs> Do the girls have Awesome names like Bond girls? No, not no. Unfortunately, there's no there's no pussy galore or no uh, no, no no. All right, I got dangerously close to getting my uh, to killing the mood. You've been caught. Meter down. She loves it. Oh, she Aww. loved it. She loved the look, look away. Oh, and then I'm gonna get in there in the armpit. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's just such a silly... Like, this is such a silly fucking thing. Like, yeah. I don't know why people were so offended by this. I mean, right. it's... The whole, like, give them gifts to score thing is silly. But this minigame is... Compared to the rest of the game, it's actually rather boring. Does it come as a nice change of pace? Or do you think... Sort of. That, of... That's kind of what he meant it to be. Like, okay. it's... It, he said that in an interview. So, let's see. Oh, yeah. Stick up gun. Oh, 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 here we go. <laughs> what? Oh, but she'll stay. It's all good. Uh, Heart meter's full. <laughs> <laughs> You're laughing because it's stupid. It is. And why people get offended by this, I don't how, know. How it's could you so... take this seriously enough to get upset? It's so stupid. <laughs> it's such a stupid thing. Look at how cheesy this is. You know, if they were playing some erasure behind this, like, people <laughs> would have loved it. I, I I just hold on to the night. Okay, so this is after after your second encounter. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! <laughs> after your second encounter, you actually see them remove their clothing, but it's ne it's never anything. <laughs> This is the stupidest thing! Come on! Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, how anyone could look at this and think, oh my god, they're objectifying women. Seriously! It, he's a terrible character in this Mondo Zappa. Right. These encounters are stupid. It's like, it's like this, they're playing on the Japanese otaku, like, stereotype slash fantasy that they don't know how to act around women, right. that they don't know how to win women's hearts, that's in air quotes. <laughs> so, like, by giving her a stick of gum, I'm able to, hands out, like, what was that? The, the first person fondle mode activated. <laughs> a rank, I did it. So this Very has been good. Killer is Dead, both the good and the stupid, and I don't understand why people are offended by that. Mike, what do you think? It I looks hilarious. <laughs> I, I I would have to play this for myself, and I, I think I would just be giggling the entire time. <laughs> it's so stupid. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching. I actually recommend this game. Um, yeah. If, if, if you can find it, I guarantee it's one of those things that it's probably not going to sell very well, and I don't mean that as a negative. I just don't think that it's a... a big demographic game no it doesn't seem like it's for everybody it's not like the it's not the typical game that we're seeing put out right now so mm -mm. um so it is 60 right now but give it a couple months i guarantee you're gonna find it way cheap and yeah. definitely get it it's for the playstation 3 and xbox 360 thank you guys for watching so much we'll be back soon with another episode
This was just silly.